Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, and we're back here for our FM24 save right at the end of the FM cycle. We are uh, down under with Adelaide United, and uh, we're, we're having a go in the Asian Champions League. We've qualified from the groups. We are now going to get some revenge, hopefully, against Joe Hoare, uh, who were in our group and beat us twice. So uh, it's a bit of an ask, but surely we can do it to get into the second round both matches were really tight um, but they got the look this time we're not going to give them the uh, the opportunity let's dive in <laughs> folks so before we get into it there's been a couple of change changes dobbin has left the building unfortunately didn't really make a huge impression lewis dobbin um couldn't really get him working on the right side not really up front either so he has left and um we have brought in a, a player to hopefully replace him again he's more of a right midfielder but hopefully that is fine so after the wellington phoenix game we played Brisbane Roar at home. This was one I was expecting to win. We went 1-0 down, and actually it was a lot closer than it should have been. But Johnny Yule and Pas pa Panash Mandanda got the goals. Panash Mandand Mandanda's goal was late. And we brought on youngster Garusio, who actually set up the Mandanda chance. Uh, so, uh, yeah, really, really impressed with this youngster just getting his first game of the season off the bench. Not particularly great there, but look at what he's got going on here. So he's, his physicals are kind of what we want for a winger. We then put, went away to MacArthur FC. This was a nice victory. Mandanda with the goal. Really pleased with that. And we were going into the match against CC Mariners. But unfortunately, uh, we had early injuries to Prince Ibarra and Mandanda. Both of whom will be out today, which put pay to our uh, chance creation unfortunately so we were a little bit up in the air um right so that's kind of where we are and but we are currently third in the league so that i think is pretty damn good compared to where, how we started we are 28 points so we don't we're not going to catch melbourne victory but if we could catch sydney fc that would be nice not going to be doing it today well, we might wait do we play melbourne victory in a little bit so maybe we can uh, pick up a victory there if we play really, really well. well. Let's go and have a look at the transfer we've made. Well, folks, it's actually a permanent transfer. Josh Karoma, who can play on the left and the right side. He can also play up top. Decent player all around. And I think uh, there's a real opportunity there to make the use of him um, in all of those positions. So I'm looking forward to getting him in. The, the match. Let's go and play this first match against Joe Hoare. Right, so team we are going to be playing with. It's a little bit on the sort of um, dodgy side a little bit here. We're using a lot of our wide players. Um, so Karoma and Clough leading the line. Halloran left, Bernardo on the right, Tony Cliff and Yule in the centre of the back line of Kitto, uh, Majeka Dumni, Kikianis and Van der Zarg with Gauchi in goal. Hoping that this is a um, you know the, the best that we can put out Garucho is on the bench so we might well be seeing him again in a little bit Josh brilliant on the bench but we are missing Carvalho, Ibarra and Mandanda all of those are not going to be involved so let's go and play this match we might have a few issues we've got Jake Porter on the bench as well who's not played much we might have a few issues um, in terms of chance creation uh, because we do not have that that standout wide player that uh, we would normally have in Mandanda. Right, see how we do. Playing the ball around the back line, that's absolutely fine. Tony Cliff, who we know is going to have, you know, he can make mistakes. Here's Karumba, I Karumba, hits the post. What happened there? It was offside. Good little run like that. So we've uh, already started looking good. Halloran chips it in. And Kitto at the far post. But they're looking at that one again. Did he go a bit early? I hope not, because it was a lovely finish. They are celebrating. The goal is awarded. It is a, it is a lovely shot on the volley. Halloran just chips in. Kitto just pokes it past the goalkeeper. And we're 1-0 up. And uh, that feels good. That feels very good, playing well. Bernardo. Well, it's it's uh, cleared, but Yul. Oh, 
in. No, <laughs> it's nicely done. We're really causing them some trouble at this point. They, they're struggling with the uh, the balls into the box, aren't they? Here's Bernardo, doing well on his uh, return to the side. Did I speak too soon? Hashim clears it. But again, Kikianis does well. And Halloran bursting into the box. Didn't quite get on the end of that. Is that a penalty? It looks like we got a penalty here. Referee going to the spot. I didn't really see what happened there. It is. It is a penalty. So who's going to be taking this? It's going to be Zach Clough, isn't it? Zach Clough stands over it. And that's the worst penalty I've ever seen. Oh, Zachy boy, don't try and be clever. Oh, that was a disaster. And sometimes that can completely change the game. When you miss your penalty, we have been dominant all the way through that first 20 minutes. Is, are we going to regret missing the penalty? We might have gone on and absolutely dominated from there. But suddenly, it looks like there's a chance for Joe Hoare. Cigar. Done well here. But Kitto has done excellently well just to pick the ball off them. Bernardo. It's a good start to his uh, his game here. Pleased with this. Wasn't sure about playing him. Van der Zarg Played a much bigger role this season. And Van Kitto again with his right foot. He scored one exactly the same as that a few games ago. We have been really good so far. Johor have been not in this game at all. But we do not want to lose it. Yo, it's through the goalkeeper's hands. And we're 2-0 up. This is a side that we struggled to beat not so long ago. And we are blasting them aside in this first 30 minutes. I know it's not going to last, but it's amazing. This is, It feels good. Another another set piece. Another goal. Kikianis. He's added his, I think it's his third of the season. Joe Hall look in absolute shock. Did you see this coming? I certainly did not. It is a beautiful thing. I know it's not going to last. I know they're going to come back into it and, 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 and pressure us. If not in this game, in the next one. We are not going to have it our own way. But Clough does absolutely fabulously there. Won the ball off them. <laughs> look at them. What are they doing? Oh, Cluffy. He's... He hasn't got a goal, but he has worked his socks off. He missed a penalty, and his, his average rating will suffer because of that. Well, that's certainly one of the best halves of football we've played. We are not making any any changes. Very, very impressive. Keep it up. Keep it up. Not making any changes just yet. The ball is cleared. Another chance for Zach Clough. Um, I mean, we could have had six or seven today. We have been that good. Yet to make a yet to make a substitution. Just feel like we don't want to jinx it. Van der Zarg, in it is Yul, Bernardo, and he deserved one as well. He's had a reasonable performance, so uh, well done. We will make a change at this point. I think what we will do is Van der Zarg is going to go in the centre. Tony Cliff's going to come on, and uh, Javi Lopez is going to be playing a game. We'll also. Um, bring Zach Clough off and Porter is going to get his debut for Adelaide United so a couple of changes there not quite sure if that's going to make a difference but I, I'm interested to see if Porter can play in that role can he supplement Clough when he's not having a good game here's Halloran balls it in Kikianis over the top 20 shots 12 on target 2.77 average rating it is gorgeous so far and there has been nothing absolutely nothing on the other way from Joe Hoare here's Karoma it's a good opening game for Karoma as well but here we go maybe this is the chance for them Salim and uh, Gauchi does well just no it was over wasn't he didn't even need to make the save Sean Lowry, oh, <laughs> Shane Lowry, sorry, into the top corner with one of the best free kicks I've seen. 
Absolutely awesome. Well, here they go again. What's going on? <laughs> Just a second. That's gone wide. I'm, I'm slightly concerned all of a sudden we seem to have forgotten how to play football. Kitto looking a bit tired there. Matt Majeka Dumi is off. We might take him off. But here's Halloran. He's running after that one. Can he find a pass? He, he's back to Kitto. Not seeing anything there. I think we might take the centre back off. Bring Nick Ansel on, who's solid plays, played a lot of games early on in the season. Well, what a performance that was. We've given ourselves the best possible chance of getting through. Yes, the second half didn't go quite as well, but great performance from Johnny Yule. Uh, the wide players were particularly good, and uh, as was Kitto at the uh, on the left side, getting himself a goal. So a really impressive performance. Really, really impressive performance. Players are absolutely delighted with that one. So, um, yeah, that has given us every chance to get through this. Um, so, we are going to play Adelaide United behind uh, off, off camera and then I'll come back and uh, I will see you for the second leg and we'll see if we can get this done. And then, if we manage to do that, we'll see who we're playing after that. Well, frustratingly, lost 1-0 against Melbourne Victory. Um, there was nothing in the game, but they got us on the break a couple of times, and uh, we were struggling to uh, create decent chances of our own. We had a, a lovely volley from uh, the uh, the youngster, Garcaccio, uh, right at the end of the match, which might have gone in, but didn't quite make it. So, yeah, a little frustrated with that. That's two losses at home on the trot which is not the ideal circumstances, but Melbourne Victory are head and shoulders above everybody else in this league. So um, it's kind of expected. We just want to make sure that that isn't a sign of things to come towards the end of the season. Because I, I would like to be in that playoff picture. I, I'm, you know, I would like to get to that final and, uh, and give them a proper go uh, with Mandanda, with the Prince in the side. Right, folks, let's go and play our second game against Johor. Can we get something out of that? Okay, folks, apparently the Prince is back. So we are hopefully going to put a decent match up here um, against Johor in the second round. You'd expect that in the first, oh, no, second round, second leg here. You'd expect us to get through it because we're full one up. But you just never know, do you? See how we get on. We've got to put the, uh, the right side out first. Okay, folks, a couple of changes. We're going to put Ibarra straight into the side um, alongside Clough. Karoma moves to the right side and Halloran on the left. Tony Cliff and Yule back in the centre. Kitto Ansel coming in there alongside Kikianis, Van der Zag and Gauchi. Bench is full of folks, um, so lots of options on the bench to take off. Javi Lopez, his time at the club, I think, is over. I just don't see... A place for him given how how expensive he is to keep he's, he's he's got really high wages right come on let's do this let's do this can we get through this match against Johor Lowry there scored the cracking free kick um, right at the start of that so uh, if we can continue if we can start as we did previously that would be something and it's a nice little nick of the ball there from Van der Zag it's Halloran into Clough Clough, can he find can he find his strike partner? Oh, Prince Ibarra. He's back and he's scoring goals, and that's what we want. Five one up on aggregate. Surely that's what we needed. Just just to ensure they couldn't they, they're gonna have to score four goals. And if they score four goals, that only gets them level with us, which is something. And obviously they, they can't concede. So we're in a an awesome position at the minute. Van der Zag here on the right side. He's going to try and put this in, is he? Karoma. He's not played great up front, but I'm hoping this might be a better position for him. And Clough almost gets goal number two. But here they come away with it. Asmi. Oh, Van der Sarg. Brilliantly done. Really, really well done. Clough chips it into Halloran. Trying to find the cross. Into Clough. Into Ansel. Tony Cliff. Over the top. 
Ryan Tunnicliffe. I mean, he is a complete liability, but I do like him. I really do. Kitto it finds Yul oh, over the top from the uh, the new boy, Karoma. I have no idea how we are this much better than them now in the knockout phases, considering we lost them twice in the um, um, in the league phase. Don't get that at all. Here's Yul. Oof, absolutely smashed the guy. Wow. We'll have a look um, at who is potentially going through this. But um, I have no idea who to be scared of. Absolutely no idea. I've got, well, you know, it, it, I, it was mentioned sort of Japanese sides, um, Korean sides, those sort of sides are, are going to be difficult. And presumably... Uh, you know, Qatari sides and, and, and folks like that might be a bit tricky as well uh, these days. Or Saudi Arabian, I should say. Um, right, half time we're 1 0 up and looking pretty good. So, uh, yeah, happy, happy with that. I'm just, I'm just thrilled to get through this match. I, I think that, I think we're pretty much there. Just did not. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than this. I thought if we got through, it would be by a squeak. And and that really hasn't been the case. And I know I'm saying this of 48 minutes gone and my goalkeeper trying to play a pass <laughs> outside his area. Um, but it just it has been it has been awesome. It really has been awesome. It's a great performance and it's really pleasing after some of the poor stuff we played this season. Here's Prince into Ryan Tunnicliffe. Oh, it would have been lovely for him to get a goal. It's been a while. It's been a, a long, old while since he's had his goal. Halloran chips it in. No. But he gets it back. That's nicely run. I'm just trying to find the pass. 58 minutes and we have been awesome. Although... Oh my, that was dreadful from the goalkeeper. I mean, they'd, they'd, they'd held on for a little bit, but there we go. Halloran makes the most of that, and the goalkeeper just gave that one away. Halloran will absolutely lick that one up. Right, folks, we're going to make some changes, I think. So a couple of changes. Josh Brilliant is coming on for replace Yul and Carvalho. Is coming on at left back to replace Kitto. Just a bit of tiredness in the squad. Well, Hasham. Going to get a ball in there. It's nicely done. Oh, it's just wide from Gauchi. Looked like he might have had it covered. And Karoma is looking tired on that right side. I think we might make a change there as well. Not a lot on the bench, though. Really not a lot on the bench. So, a couple of changes. Again, Tunnicliff comes off. And uh, we brought Van der Zag in on in his place in the centre, so moved him from right back. Javi Lopez down on right back. Halloran on uh, as well to replace uh, Josh Karoma. And we've got one more sub to make, which we'll do a little bit later on. Not quite sure who, what we'll do for that, but it looks good, folks. So Kikianis um, is coming off. Warland on. He's been a little while since he'd been involved. But, um, yeah, a 6-1 victory there against Joe Hoare. I <laughs> just don't get it. How impressive that performance was, given what went before. Let's have a look who's gone through. So, uh, Al Saad going out uh, of Qatar, going out against Al Ali. We beat Joe Hoare. The Thai side, Buriam United, won against the Japanese side, Kawasaki. That feels like a shock, but I just don't know. Uh, Beijing beating the Korean side relatively... No, it was actually on away goals. So that was close. Kashima of Japan losing to the Thai side. And that feels like a shock. Uh, Al Aribi just getting through their match. Uh, Al Hilal getting through their match. So looks like a, a lot of Qatari... Sal, uh, um, not South African, um, Saudi Arabian sides. What, who's in? Who's here? Ruben Neves. 
I mean, good God. <laughs> it, the thing is, it's Ruben Neves and then some amazing... No, Neymar. Jesus Christ. Oh. And Alexander Mitrovic. We've got no hope. There's no way we can com compete with this. No chance. Koulibaly. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That is just scary. Right, let's go see if we're going to play. Hopefully not Al-Hilal. Right, here we go. Champions League draw, uh, my friends. So, I'm not sure who would be a good drawing out of this. The Thai sides, maybe? Are they all infinitely stronger than us? I don't know any of these questions. But uh, let's see what we get. So, we draw the first team. Al Arabi of Qatar are going to be playing. Uh, Al Halal, that's, that's the side with Neymar in. So, thank God for that. A Buriam United. I'll tell you this one. They play Beijing. That feels a tough one for them. So Adelaide are going to be playing Bangkok United. You know what? I'm not sure, but that feels like an okay draw. Don't know if that isn't. Let me know in the comments. But I'm relatively happy with that. <laughs> oh, we're going to draw the semi-finals as well. We'll, we'll do all of them because it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we'll be playing this. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who the heck knows whether that's a good draw or not? We will find out in due course. So we're going to play Perth Glory and Western Sydney Wanderers. Um, and then we're going to come back for the game against Bangkok United. Are we going to be able to go further than the quarterfinals? In the comments, let me know. But what a victory there against Joe Hoare. I feel that was well deserved. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.